Hi, welcome to Reams Academy. In this video, we will talk about the structure and function of reproductive organs in flowering plants. Angiosperms, commonly referred to as flowering plants, are a broad category of plants that are distinguished by the development of flowers and seeds contained within a fruit. They make up the largest group of plants on the planet and are significant both for their aesthetic value and for the food and other things they provide. Flowers and specialized sexual reproduction organs are part of the unique reproductive architecture of flowering plants. The plant's reproductive organs are the flowers, and they produce seeds through the process of fertilization. This happens when a pollen grain touches a flower stigma and develops a pollen tube that travels through the style to the ovary. A sperm cell is subsequently expelled from the pollen grain, fertilizing an egg cell inside an ovule to create a seed. Monocots and dicots are the two basic classifications for flowering plants. Dicots contain two cotyledons, whereas monocots only have one cotyledon, a little leaf present in the seed. The arrangement of their vascular tissue, the number of petals in their flowers, and the number of parts in their beautiful flowers and seeds are other traits that set monocots and dicots apart. The flower is the reproductive component of flowering plants. A flower is a modified stalk that has components for sexual reproduction as well as specialized leaves called petals. The main parts of a flower are the stem that holds the flower upright is called a pencil. The tiny, green leaves known as sepals envelop and safeguard the budding flower. Pollinators are drawn to flowers by their beautiful, frequently vividly colored petals. The male reproductive components of a flower are called stamens, which are made up of an anther and a filament. Pollen made by the anther and released into the air includes male gametes, sperm cells. The pistil, which is made up of an ovary, a style, and a stigma, is a flower's female reproductive system. The style and stigma assist in directing pollen to the ovules, and the ovary houses the female gametes, egg cells, immature seeds. Ovules, found inside the ovary, these are the precursors to seeds. The main functions of the flower are 1. Sexual reproduction. Flowers are a flowering plant's reproductive organs, and through the process of fertilization, they generate seeds. This happens when a pollen grain touches a flower's stigma and develops a pollen tube that travels through the style to the ovary. A sperm cell is subsequently expelled from the pollen grain, fertilizing an egg cell inside an ovule to create a seed. 2. Pollination. Pollination is the transfer of pollen from one flower's anther to another flower of the same species stigma. For sexual reproduction to occur and for seeds to be produced, pollination is required. 3. Pollinator attraction. Flowers employ their eye-catching petals and alluring nectar to draw in pollinators like bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. Pollen transfer between flowers, which is important for fertilization and seed formation, is made possible with the assistance of pollinators. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe.